When something plays tricks on your eyes, it's called an optical illusion. Op art is artwork that plays tricks on your eyes. You might think that a picture is moving because of the lines or colors used in it. These tricks are created by repeating lines or shapes and using color in a pattern. Let's make our own op art masterpiece today. Start off, as always, by writing your name on your paper and turning your paper over so your name is now on the back. Then use the tracer to decide where you want to place the paw print. Carefully trace around it with your pencil. Make sure to trace the inside parts as well. Whoops, I missed a little part. Next, I'm going to draw vertical lines using my ruler. Check to make sure the edge of the ruler matches the edge of the paper. If you spread your fingers wide to hold the ruler, it won't wiggle as much when you're drawing your line. Put your pencil at the top of the paper, right next to the ruler, and pull the pencil down towards your belly button. Make another line by moving the ruler so that the edge of it lines up with the new line you just drew. Keep going until the ruler doesn't fit on the paper anymore. I was able to get five lines on my paper. And now for some color, baby color. Choose a warm color. Warm colors remind us of things that are hot, like fire and the sun. Warm colors are reds, oranges, and yellows. Choose one and we'll begin an A-B pattern on our artwork. To help avoid any confusion, I like to make a little mark in the stripes that I'm going to color. In the first stripe, there is no part of the paw print shape, so I'm going to color the entire stripe red. Since I have such a large area to color, I'm not going to use the skinny tip. I'll lay the marker down like it's sleeping to get a wide line. And just like earlier, I'll pull down towards my belly button. If your picture has any of the paw print shape in the first stripe, don't color the shape. Leave it white. In the next stripe, I see some of the paw print shape. This time, I'm going to color only the paw print shape, not any of the stripe. So my AB pattern is stripe, shape, stripe, shape. That means that my third stripe, I will not color any of the paw print shape. I'm going to continue coloring stripe, shape, stripe, shape, until I get to the end of my paper using the one warm color that I have chosen. Next, it's time to color the rest of the picture. We're going to use complementary colors today. Complementary colors are pairs of opposite colors. Red and green, yellow and purple, orange and blue are complementary colors. Since I used red, what is the complement? Green, that's right. Take a moment to figure out what your complement is. Once you've figured out what your complementary color is, use that color to finish coloring the white areas on your op art masterpiece. <laughs> 